Hello and welcome to Bearing It All in the Kitchen. My name is Matthew Beausoleil, chef of Bear Magnet TV. Today I'm going to show you a simple and delicious recipe that will wow your hunting party. Today we are going to be making the best Big Bear burger you've ever eaten. Let's get started. All bear meat used in Bearing It All in the Kitchen has been harvested by Bear Magnet TV Pro Staff. Let's see today's ingredients. Ground bear meat, hand chopped parsley, fresh egg, thyme, cracked pepper, sea salt, minced garlic, Dijon mustard, aged smoked cheddar, tomatoes, pickles, mayonnaise, and for our topping, honey, brown sugar, olive oil, and red onions. Since our topping will take quite a bit longer than our burgers, we're going to start with those. Let's get cooking. For our caramelized honey onions, what we have to do is preheat our titanium exclusive pan with some olive oil on low. We'll add in our red onions. Let them reduce until they are golden, and then we'll add in our honey and brown sugar. Now we'll go back and start making our burgers. Now we're ready to make our bear burgers. We're going to take our bear meat, put it into a larger bowl. Best way to make a bear burger is to use your hands. Don't be afraid to get dirty. We're going to make a well in the middle of our meat. We're going to start with our egg, our hand chopped parsley, dried thyme, salt, sea salt, fresh cracked pepper, Dijon mustard, and our minced garlic. Now we're gonna mix this all up to make one of the most delicious bear burgers you've ever eaten. So now our meat is ready and well mixed. Um, we're going to divide it into four equal portions on the cutting board. So now we're just going to take each patty and flatten them with our hand. The least you work a patty, the juicier the patty will end up at the end. We want to make sure the patties aren't too big, as with bear, you must cook it to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go, our patties are ready. We'll refrigerate them for a few minutes so they keep their shape and then they'll go to the pan. We're now ready to cook our burgers. The pan has been preheated to medium high so we can get a great sear when we put the burger on the grill. Here we go. No need to add additional fat as they will provide enough fat for themselves. So 
always good to press, not too hard, just a little bit right at the beginning to get some good sear marks on the other side. Gonna wait a couple minutes and then we'll flip them over. Our burgers are nicely browned on the other side, so we're gonna flip them over to finish the cooking. Again, we're going to press down, get a nice sear. And now we're going to wait a couple minutes, we'll check the temperature and we'll take them off. We've temped the burgers, they're at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. It's time to start plating. Our burgers are ready to go. Now I'm gonna show you how I like to make a burger. We're gonna first take a tablespoon of mayonnaise, put that on the bottom bun. Spread it out nice and even. We're gonna add a nice thick slice of tomato. We're gonna take our patty of choice, we'll go with this one. We're gonna add our smoked Canadian cheddar. Some of our honey caramelized onions. Put the top bun on. Grab one of our skewers. A small pickle. And there you have a burger, bear magnet style. That's right, a simply delicious, beautiful, big bear burger. For this recipe and more, check back to bearmagnettv.com. For Bear Magnet TV and Bearing It All in the Kitchen, I'm Matthew Beausoleil. See you later. Ciao.